Sometimes I get a good feeling, yeah. Yeah. I get a feeling that I never, 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 never had before. You're the girl with the deaf family? Yeah. yeah. I just want to tell you right now. And you sing. Interesting. Hello, Alexandra, Jerry, Hello. Martin. Hey. Th Hello. Thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure to talk to you, especially because I love Coda. So for me, it's one of the best movies of this year. And and I don't know when you, when you guys got like approached by the director to be in this project. What were like your thoughts? We can start with you, Martin. Me, uh, well, when I first saw the film, I actually saw the, the first cut or one of the first cut of the film. That's when I was brought uh, in, in the production. And I, uh, I don't know, I fell in love with the film right at start myself. And I really uh, was there and devoted so that I tried to make the sound as good as possible so that we would really go through this story with the feeling and the surroundings and and this family that I was would try to kind of bring forward with their 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 specialty and, and, and things like that so that's why how I was when I first was uh, brought on the film and you Jerry um coming in I was on another project but Literally, I think we backed the truck up from that film and loaded onto this film. But so I think I initially turned it down. No, it wasn't about to come. I was like so burnt out. Uh, but then I read the script and was it just seems like up my alley. Like with the, all the music and everything, uh, it just felt like I would have a chance to be a little more creative than I normally get to do, be in my job. Um, so I ended up taking it on and I'm so glad I did. Yes, and for you, Alexandra? Yes, I got brought on prob probably last year, and um, I watched a cut of the film. I was approached by Sean, who I was recommended to from um, some other directors in our circle, and I watched a cut of the film and I fell in love with it, and I thought the same thing. It's a huge opportunity to work on a film that's um, so earnest and so heartfelt and there was a big opportunity to uh, work on some really interesting music numbers as well as uh, a lot of great environments and um, so I said yes right after seeing the film and we got to work just a couple of weeks later. Yes, weren't you surprised that you have like some scenes that was like as a sound, like a sound supervisor, engineers, and work with sound that some of the scenes are like completely no sound. Because I was like, that blew my mind when they they were like in the, the scene, they were watching the daughter sing and everything goes down, like everything goes, the levels went zero. And then I even touched my, my, my remote. I was like, oh, something happened here. <laughs> was what was your reaction <laughs> to to have that kind of like scene on, on a movie martin <laughs> yeah Sorry. well w when we have some silence scenes in a film we sometimes we choose a few places in a film where we can use silence to to evoke emotion so that was a, an occasion for us that was just on a big plate considering that they were deaf people and that we would make uh, we may understand what, how they would perceive the reality. So for us, it's to go into a silence is like a trick. We, we, we know this and we, we try to think about using sometimes silence as a way to create sounds. So it's not that because there's a lack of sound that there are no sounds and silence is never silent and there's always something and we always come out of a silence in some sort of way so it's kind of a part of the language of, of a film yeah i think okay. yeah oh, I go ahead going, i was just going to add that um there's there's silence and there's perceived silence and a lot of times in film even when they go silent there's still a rumble or a low end uh, element playing and in this case Sean really really wanted to have absolutely nothing there she wanted to hear you know the creaking of the theater goers seats instead 
um, and have people have a moment where we're sort of, you know, just thrown into the perspective of Frank and Leo. And, um, you know, I think it was always I, I suggested some low end elements. I suggested something so that it wouldn't go completely silent. We tried a few things. We tried when to come in, when to go out of the silence. And Sean uh, really wanted it to be completely nothing. And I think that that decision was ultimately just a really great direction on her part because I think it, it makes it that much more impactful that it's nothing exactly how you know, they might hear it. Yeah, it was amazing. When I watched, I was like, whoa, I think that's exactly what they expect. You know, they're not listening to anything. They're just looking at the emotions of everybody else. And I thought it was like genius. And I, and I, I don't know if I was in your job, I would have freaked out. I was like, no, we need to have some sound here, at least something. But I think, <laughs> I think it's amazing. Oh, here we go. She won the Yankee Miss Pageant. Mm hmm And, and also there is this difference of levels when they when um, Emilia Jones is talking a uh, characters is talking with like real and then the way that they pers they, they listen or they understand there is this difference and how did you guys handle that because I think it's so well done <laughs> I don't know who want to jump in on that Jared can oh. Oh, sorry, what, what was the question? The difference between... Like, yeah, because sometimes when Emilia, uh, Emilia Jones' characters is talking, they, she's talking and then it's like very real. And when they are talking, they have some sounds, like the deaf actors, when they are talking, they have... How did you handle that? Um, yeah, on set, we just try to capture everything. Um, like, at first, I thought it would be easy because, we, oh, just one person speaking, that's, like, the rest is whatever, but they're they're very expressive in how they're communicating. Like, their hands are making sounds, uh, their, their lips are making sounds, and so we ended up, we would always have someone covering them with a boom uh, and making sure we always had those elements because you can't, really, they can't recreate that. Like, they can't go in an ADR booth and just do that again. Like. So um, I thought that was important that we get as much of it as we could. Yeah. Okay. And, and that's a, a funny thing because in a regular situation on other films, we would tend to remove these little sounds that the actors make all over the place just to keep their dialogue. So yeah. our first reactions would be to remove those. But in this case, we actually decided to make it part of the scene and to use it all. Yeah. Did you like uh, uh, any any of you? There isn't a, a scene or, or, or a moment that was more challenged to 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 do it or to fix it afterwards or I don't know. Well, Pardon? it was it was done that like uh, I'm gonna answer because I, it, some part was done uh, with the uh, the foley recording because they they did my my friends colleagues simon and and joe they did a, like a multiple pass of all the sounds of the movement of their their clothes their their fingers their wiping the noise and their the hairs and all those stuff so so then i took the, the material they recorded and carefully edited it with the dialogue that jared recorded so that we never would never feel that there was done two separately and that it would 
be together. So, so having this, these tracks on top of the, the, the original sounds, having these uh, f Foley recordings, that was then, uh, we were then able at the mixing stage with, with Alexandra to, to be able to, to play around with the elements so that we, we would decide ultimately whenever we want to use it, whenever we want to put it backwards, whenever we want it in the room, etc., etc. So, so we were able to really uh, uh, do it so that it would appear like just it was done entirely at that time altogether. Yeah. Like magic. Yeah. But like it, the magic it, we do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful. They can't do that. I told you. I can't always be that person. And, and and all of you like we or like in projects very like with a lot of sound a lot of like it, it, everything is so like explosive so like how important for you to be part of the this unique project because i think it's, it's unique the way that they handle sound was important for you to be part of a project like this can start with you, Alexandra. Yeah. For, for me, um, it's really exciting always to be a part of a film that has um, a, a big focus on music. And this film did, of course. A lot of us in sound came from music. And um, also, I think that there was a huge opportunity in sound because of the um, the characters being deaf that we had this uh, we had to play with sound because sound was also a character, even in its absence. And then also we had amazing environments, which I am a huge fan of environmental sound. I'm a huge fan of, um, you know, like background sounds and, and making environments that are peaceful and, and different from what we normally see. We normally see a lot of cities and it's really great to have the opportunity to have a film that takes place in, in a place that a lot of people haven't experienced. For you, Jared? Yeah, for me, it just, uh, it, I got to be a lot more creative than I usually do. I feel like a lot of times my job is more of a technical thing. Like I'm just trying to capture the dialogue of the actors as cleanly as possible. And that's usually all I focus on. Like any other sounds are going to happen. Like we try to mute those, like just get it clean. But here, like I actually got to like make more just like, oh, we need these sounds or like with the music, like we had really big setups to get like all that cleanly um just got to do a lot more stuff than i usually would get to do so uh, and yeah work on a great film so yes and for you martin well as you mentioned earlier the background the ambiences is something very very important in this film because we have the schools we have the coast we, we, we have like the water, the boats, uh, like the fishermen, the crowds. There's a big, big uh, task for sound people in a film like this. So it was an occasion to, to bring forward all the sounds that I recorded myself in some of the locations that are similar to the ones that we have here because I've, I've recorded sounds for 25 years and some of the sounds I've used in the film uh, go back to these uh, recordings I did at uh, the coast um, of Maine uh, with the water and, and the forest. And so I think these are all places I kind of went to. So when I saw it, 
I was like, okay, I, I am, I have some material for this, and then it was a matter of putting it there and, and really slowly put it in place along with the rest of the material. It's amazing. You know, Martin, Alexandra, Jerry, I, I want to thank you so much for your time. And and you guys did an outstanding job. I, I love the movie. I cannot. I always talk about the movie because I love so much. And I think it was great. The silence, the way that you guys handled the, 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 the sound. And it's very important and effective. That's why the movie is so good. You know what I mean? So thank, thank you. you so much for your time. Thank you. And a, and a lot of success, of course, and keep doing your explosive job soon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 What are you doing next year? Working with my family. Let me tell you now, I've got a feeling I feel so strange. Everything about me seems to have changed. I've been coaching for Berklee College of Music. I can help you get a scholarship. of pretty voices with nothing to say. Do you have something to say? You will be required to have a hearing individual on board at all times. you for the rest of my life. I've never done anything without my family before. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like and subscribe to our channel right here.